So I hope you all enjoyed the new logo reveal video. This is my new logo. I am rebranded Smart Pipe Plumbing Services. Um, slowly but surely, I've got Van to resign right in, resign right, and also the um, workwear and other bits and bobs. I just need to get rebranded up because yeah, we've changed the logo, and this video you've just seen will be used on every video going forward. It's much a big improvement compared to my previous logo that I designed myself nine years ago. And yeah, I've had this one professionally made. So yeah, big shout out to Nico Laz, um, lad in Leeds, and he's done all this for me. And it's yeah, much appreciated. So thank you for him. If you do need any logos doing, let me know and I can, um, I'll drop you his details and I'll also put in the description below to his company. So this video is a video about a van alarm. I've had a new van alarm fit by myself. I got it over at the installer show. So enough of me wa wobbling on and gibberish. Don't forget to smash that like button before we get started. And don't forget to comment if you've got any questions on the Van Guardian. Let's get into it. Right guys, a bit of a different video this week. We have got a new van alarm to fit to the van. I have had a van alarm before and not that I want to name this company out. Um, I'm not happy with it. It fit inside the van when the alarm was going off. You could barely hear it inside the house. Um, yeah, I won't go into too much detail about the old alarm because I want to focus on the new alarm from Van Guardian. I spoke to the lads at Installer Show and they advised me that this was a great product and it's exactly what I want for deterring any thieves from breaking into the van. It's also a visual deterrent on the outside of the van, which I do like. So inside the box, you do get two alarms. One I've already fit up there and you get two keys, um, a little protection rubber thing to go around the keys it's handy two sets of wipes a screwdriver all your instructions and also a removal key for, to get the alarm out so what i'm going to do i'm going to walk you through exactly how it's fit and um, how it works and yeah see what my first initial impressions are of it fitted and working and see how loud it is that's the main thing i suppose um, and then over the next couple of months you probably pop it into a video and just let you know how I've got on with it How I'm finding and a bit of an update of how I've got on with Van Guardian So let's head around the back and go get it fit Right, so first of all you need to decide where exactly you want it fitting on the van And I'm personally going to go for under the light there um, I think it just looks very symmetrical So here's the alarm, um, this is the little tool to get the front cover off Which just pushes on like so, and then pulls off. There we go. So we'll just place that down there, um, and also that tool. So then this is the two alarms, and this is the front case. This is what it originally used to look like a while ago before they put this new um, cover on, which makes, which basically bounces the audio alarm back to the van and then vibrates the alarms off the van increasing the, the uh, decibels is that the correct word um, of how loud it is um, so great addition to the uh, van guardian so uh, either side you've got two screws so we'll just get them removed now So once you've got your screws out, if you just get your little removal key, which I find is the easiest way to get it out, you can just... It's in there solid, I'll tell you that. <laughs> there we go. Said so it's too soon. There we go. So you come with your two units inside, which has got two plastic lugs, then you've got your fixing plate, which comes with a 3M sticky pad. So we'll, we'll just put that down for one second. What we're going to do is just take our two uh, tags off our alarms. As you take them tags out, them in pockets, don't want to litter in. It will make an alarm, um, and that's it, uh, they're ready to go. So we can put that down now. 
and get our back plate um, and also our 3M wipe. So like I say, we just know exactly where we're going to put it on the back of the van. These people driving past are going to think, what is this guy doing? Um, so what we're going to do is give it a good clean down first. It's important to give it a good clean with the 3M wipe. As you can tell, I haven't washed my van recently. There we go. And then this red film just comes off, just peels off. Like so, make sure you do not touch this sticky pad here because what that's going to do, if you do get anything on there, any dirt or anything, it's going to uh, basically, it's not really to guarantee that it's going to get the best bond possible to the van. So if you line it up how you want, that's going to keep it in, in line with there. Then we need to put firm pressure on there and what been advised is if we use the tool for removing the front cover uh, just to get the best possible bond to the van so once you're happy that's stuck on there we can put our front cover back on now so that just clips on like so and then all we need to do, we can find the screws that I've put in the pocket, is put our screws back in. So once you have your screws are back in, we could put our front, the, the main front cover, which set, obviously sends the um, sounds back towards the van. Uh, I can't remember the actual name is for this, but if I do remember it and I find it out, I'll put it a uh, little thing up here. So that just clips on the front, like so. So there you go, your Van Guardian is fit. It's 10 out of 10 for me for installation wise, I think bob on you, five minutes it would only take you to fit them um, unlike some other manufacturers of alarms where I've spent hours trying to fit them and pair them up these keys and alarms come prepared all, all come prepared from the factory which is great I hate uh, any sort of technology where you've got to mess around pairing things up and setting up it all up it's just nice and simple I like simple things simple things please simple minds like me so the key the key comes with a lock at the top, which will lock your, ala uh, your alarm. And then you've got your unlock button, which now unlocks it. You've got a lightning bolt there, which is just a deterrent, which is a deterrent to, if you see any thieves near your van, you can send an alarm over to them and that'll um, hopefully deter them from breaking into your van. Uh, you've also got your bottom button there which is to get into further settings for your sensitivity and stuff like that this uh, key and alarm does come with seven settings of sensitivity so you can have from high sensitivity to low sensitivity I'm gonna leave it on factory settings um, I'm not sure exactly how uh, what setting it is set on factory settings but we're gonna see how it goes if I need to uh, change it it is possible and that's great good it's good that I can I can possibly change the sensitivity because in different areas if you're living on a main road you, and a van's going past every two minutes or a car's going past every two minutes it could rock the van or lorry's going past rocking the van it could be setting the alarm off so you might want low sensitivity but if you live in a nice quiet area like myself not, there's not much traffic going past here i could have it on, possibly on a high sensitivity um, that way if anyone did mess around with a van it's going to go off at the earliest at the earliest time so um what i'm going to say the what else is there so another feature that I like from Van Guardian is that I can, if I, if 
buy a new van, which I'm looking at doing in the next year, within the, within the next year, is I can take that off there, buy a tool that I can buy from uh, Vanguardian, um, and you can also buy a new back plate, because the back plate will be broken once you take it off. Um, so you can buy all that from Vanguardian, and you can fit this alarm and my side alarm to the new van, which I think is great. I'm not having to go out and fork out for another van alarm um, for the van. So initial opinions of, as a whole for, to Vanguardian, if you are watching, 10 out of 10. Um, and I'm gonna keep you up to date of how I get on and how I think it, it works. And I think if it does it work in a real life situation, let's say. So in a couple of months time, I will drop it into a video at some point. So yeah, definitely do go check out Vanguardian. I will put all their description, uh, their links, sorry, in the description below and I'll put some of their social medias. So do go check out Vanguardian. Okey dokey dokey.